Welcome to Fortune Tech Debate, where we debate the issues of the day in two minutes. Today we're talking about Uber, which has recently suspended its self-driving car operations in two states after getting into a crash in Arizona. Let's put two minutes on the clock. All right, Lisa, take it away. Sure. So Uber actually news broke this morning that they have resumed their self-driving car uh, operations in San Francisco. So I don't think this is really going to set them back. I mean, we're talking about Uber here. Their whole business model revolves around transportation, and they really have to be a leader in self-driving car technology moving forward or else they risk becoming obsolete. And I just don't see Uber letting something like this hold them back, especially since their car was not at fault in this situation. Yeah, so the reports say that they're not at fault, but I take a different angle here. I actually think this is a big setback for the company. Uh, although they did, uh, hot on the heels of this announcement, that they're stopping operations in two cities. They are going to San Francisco, like you said. Um, but still, there have been so many incidents like this over the past few months. I mean, uh, Uber cars have cut off uh, bicyclists in their bike lanes, they've run through red lights, and they've also gotten into uh, collisions. Most recently, this Arizona crash, which resulted in a car flipping over on its side. I mean, that is, uh, that's kind of scary. Right. I mean, it's it's definitely a serious accident and something that you would never want, God forbid, passengers to be involved in or anyone. Um, but I mean, I think it's important to remember that this is why you need to test self-driving cars. This is why they're going through testing. They have to learn these mistakes and they have to do it, you know, on the road, not in a simulation. They have to be able to account for these unforeseen scenarios. I think that some of these companies, though, these tech companies are being a little bit too brash in the way that they're uh, putting these cars on the road before the proper testing. I mean, uh, other companies like Tesla, actually, uh, their technology led to a fatal crash in Florida. Um, one of their cars uh, mistook a truck entering the road for the bright sky behind it because both were very bright colored. Uh, and it actually took off the roof of, uh, of the car and led to uh, the driver dying. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think if anything holds Uber back, it's not going to be these accidents. I think, you know, they have internal problems and they're locked in a very serious sure lawsuit with Google right now. So I don't think it'll be the accidents. Well, time is <laughs> up. Come to fortune.com for more tech debates.